Good morning. Today's engine run is going to be the very first run, first drinks of fuel for this OSFS 61 that Chuck gave me uh, from his father's estate. This is the one that I featured in several videos that was just really water damaged and I cleaned it up. And if you want to find out more about the story of this engine, go watch those videos. But anyway, here it is. It's got really, really strong compression. I've got the original OSF glow plug that was installed in it. I've got a tank of Omega 5% fuel, about a half a tank, and a Zor Wood 13.6 prop. Now this is going to be a break-in run because this is a new engine, even despite the condition it was in. This is a new engine and I'm going to try my best to do a break-in run on it. This run is dedicated to Chuck's uh, father who's passed so that uh, wherever he's at you can actually see his engine run for the first time. Okay, so that wasn't the best of runs. Um, it was a pretty long run and I'm gonna edit it heavily because 
I spent some time running it at kind of like a, a very rich break-in setting of around 6,000 RPM and I'd richen the high-speed needle up a little bit to go down to about five, 4,000. I believe, if I recall correctly, that's how OS said to break this engine in. And then I spent an awful lot of time really trying to get this thing to idle, which it just really wasn't wanting to idle yet. Now I have had other FS61s that would idle really well right out of the chute. For whatever reason, I was really having a hard time going between the throttle stop screw and the air bleed screw. And, and I don't know why I just sat there. I kept really, really trying hard to get a good idle so that I could show you a good idle. Um, so this video is actually just going to be a lot of clips cut and put together and a lot of crap that I was doing taken out because it died on me probably seven or eight times. I'd have to restart it because I was screwing with the idle for so much. But anyway, the engine does run. Just a testament to OS that even though an engine can sit for who knows how long in very bad conditions and still just be cleaned on the outside and still run like an OS engine that needs to be broken in. So anyway, Chuck, thank you very much for this and hope your father, wherever he is, enjoy watching his engine run for the first time. <laughs>